Today on the Bass Channel, we're checking out the Bass Mono Synth from Electro Harmonics. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and don't forget to ring the notification bell. If you like this shirt, you can check it out and a few other designs down below. As per usual, I'm gonna start by reading some facts out of the manual, and then I'm gonna give you my opinion on the pedal, so if that's something that's worthwhile to you, please stick around to the end. But for now, let's burn down some facts. The bass mono synth allows you to transform your bass guitar into one of 11 different synthesizers. From vintage synth emulations to thick stacked voices to deep, pulsing sounds for an array of sonic landscapes and textures. Synth was designed to work on your bass guitar without any modifications or special pickups. The bass mono synth is a multi oscillator monophonic instrument. It synthesizes one note at a time per oscillator. The oscillators have been pre tuned for each synth type. Only the synth type Spectre allows for user control over an oscillator. Additionally, it can handle only one note from your bass at a time. It does not work properly when chords or two note intervals are played. The bass mono synth behaves unpredictably and erratically when it receives more than one note at the input jack. So now that we know a little bit more about the pedal, let's cover all of the synth types and how each knob works. Laser is a deep pulsating synth. The control knob adjusts the attack and decay times of the filter envelope. As control is turned clockwise, both the attack and decay times slow down. Fade is a multi VCO synth with some dry signal added to the filter sweep. Sensitivity sets the filter sweep envelope follower depth and synth volume. Control adjusts the decay time of the filter envelope. is a fast decaying synth reminiscent of the TB303. Higher sensitivity settings make for wider filter sweeps and control adjusts both filter resonance and sweep depth of the filter envelope. As control is turned clockwise, both resonance and filter envelope frequency range increases. Oh, 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 oh,
Cosmic is a bright and aggressive synth with subtle pitch modulation. The control knob sets the decay time of the filter envelope. Sub is a round sub octave synth for adding low end. The control knob controls the volume of the sub octave oscillator. Growl is a percussive punchy synth. Sensitivity adjusts the filter sweep depth and control sets the decay time of the filter envelope. is a pulsating synth with a modulating filter. The control sets the speed of modulation. Unison is the huge sound of stacking voices on a polyphonic synth. The control knob sets the decay time of the filter envelope. synth sound. Higher sensitivity settings make for wider filter sweeps and the control adjusts the attack and decay times of the filter envelope. VCO synth with an added adjustable pitch note. Higher sensitivity settings make for wider filter sweeps and control adjusts the filter's cutoff frequency.
Oblivion is a big, lush, warm synth tone with a warbling modulation effect. The control knob controls the rate of modulation. Part of the video where I give you my opinion and impression on the bass mono synth, and honestly, I think it's a fantastic synth pedal. We've checked out a handful of synth pedals on the channel, and I'm gonna say this one definitely goes towards the top of the range. My favorite being the Electro Harmonics bass micro synth, and my least favorite being the Electro Harmonics synth 9. Uh, this falls definitely somewhere in the middle of those two. I think the sounds are great, it's really intuitive to dial in, it's really easy to use, but the tracking could be better. I do like that it's really easy to set up, it's intuitive to use, and the voices do sound really good despite some tracking and glitching issues. So with all that being said, I think it's a great deal for the price that you pay, however, I do feel there could be some improvements into the tracking. As always, if you like this video and you want to see more, please consider subscribing. You can also check out Patreon for more exclusive content, and somewhere right in this vicinity is another video that YouTube feels is best suited to your interest. It might be another synth video, it might not, I don't know. But until next time, I'm Chris from the Bass Channel, and thanks for watching.